with caution. What's up my drunken fighters and welcome back to another video. This time we are going to explain some more tech and this time we're going to explain a little bit more about option selects and how we can utilize those with Jamie in particular. Now the reason I got actually excited to make a video like this is because Broski made a video recently about option selects as well and obviously I don't, you know, Broski is a very good player, don't get me wrong, but something that he said was very interesting to me. Um, he said that the simplest option select in this game is this. Do you notice the inputs? This is in his... Uh, he said that this is the simplest option select. So if it connects, then the Hadouken comes out. And while... I don't think that's necessarily true. In in my opinion, what is an option select is that an uh, a, 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 a sequence of inputs um, that the outcome will be different comparing, um, depending on the situation it is in. So, um, the reason why we're actually here in Street Fighter 4 is because this game was very option select dependent. Um, the reason being is that backdash in this game was actually invincible on, on Wake Up. So, that means you could, you could literally dodge everything and the only way, the only way to punish them is to actually get an option select. So, one of the, probably the simplest we can do is the reason that we, I'm um, going to play Yoni here because he is the one that uh, actually played. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to do crouching light kick into lunch punch. That's actually the input we're going to do. And now I'm actually doing this on hitbox, so I'm not sure if I can actually make it work on hitbox, but this is the input we're going to do. So if we if we slow this down, you can see that I'm actually getting standing light punch. So it the reason for that is if we delay the input a little bit, we're going to get crouching uh, light. We're going to get standing light punch. So that means if it hits, then so. Let me show you the cans the input window real quick. Uh, how do I do this? I, I probably have to turn this on, off. Okay. So the input is very simple. So the, the only thing I'm doing is crouching light kick to okay. Um, oh. <laughs> crouching light kick into that. That is what I'm actually doing. So you can see that I'm not getting a fireball. See? Now, if my opponent would backdash in this case, so that's the exact input I'm doing with Yun. Um, we're a little bit um, limited to the availability of training settings that this game had, so I'm gonna have to do it this way. But that's the input that we're going to use for Yun in this case, because his lunch punch is a Hadouken motion. So notice what happens if I am going to uh, backdash on the wake up when this happens. There we go. So that's the exact sequence we had to do. Notice that when I was getting hit, we got the standing light punch. So now we're gonna backdash on the wake up. There we go. And the backdash gets punished. And the lunch punch comes out. So you just saw that this is a specific sequence of inputs that will give a different outcome depending on the situation. So with a regular, uh, if it connects, I just can get a combo and I can do whatever I want. You know, I can do that and get some combos going. And if he backdashes, I don't even have to think about it. If he backdashes, then I punish the backdash. And that's, in my opinion, the basic principle of an option select. Now. Obviously, this can be utilized in uh, Street Fighter 6 as well, but I felt like this was probably one of the best situations to explain um, how an option selects work because it was very, very crucial in your Street Fighter 4 game plan. Now, there were some very specific character option selects as well, and for Yun, 
um, that was actually Zangief. So Zangief had, obviously because he has a bigger body, his, if he would backdash, that would mean he would still get hit by our Ultra 1 combo. Pretty similar to an SA3 of Street Fighter 6. Um, and this specific tech, we can use that and apply it in the same way uh, as Street Fighter 4. We can actually use this for Jamie with Drive Reversal, for example. So the way this works is gonna, it works the same way. It's actually crouching light kick to LK and we buffer that into um, Ultra 1. Where's my, okay, I have to do it like that, I suppose. There we go. So notice the input here on the left. We get two LK followed by quarter circle four twice um, into three punches because that was input for Ultra 1. Are you ready? There you go. So I actually inputted Ultra 1. Um, and we got the Light Punch once again instead. The so sweep. There we go. Now hopefully, I did it correct. <laughs> There's no way of knowing. Playback. We're gonna go for Backdash. There we go. So you can see that once the Crouching Light Kick whips, then Ultra 1 will come out. And that's, in my opinion, the true definition of an option select. Once again, we use two different inputs to uh, get a different result depending on the actions of our opponent. So if I want to, let's say, if I want to continue the combo, I can actually do that by, hang on, this has been a, it's been a long time since I used this. There we go. So I can actually go for like a full combo um, with this and even with the Ultra 1 buffered behind it. Like that. See? Um, and so this could all, this is, this is what Nephew was doing um, recently in a tournament as well. Uh, that's the reason why I got um, excited to, to make this video. Um, and I feel like I, I wanted to give you guys like a basic understanding of what an option selects to me. Because like, obviously it, it differs for different people. But this is what an option select, in my opinion, looks like. Um, in this, Explained in the simplest way possible. Hope this makes sense. Uh, but we're going to see if how we can actually utilize this in Street Fighter 6. So here we are back in the present time, Street Fighter 6. Um, and we can actually utilize this in the same way, um, the option select, as we did in Street Fighter 4 um, and for Drive Reversal specifically. So, the way this works is we can actually get an SA1 um, when they activate Drive Reversal and if they don't we can just proceed with the combo or the block string. So this particular string will be 2LK 5LK into another 5LK. However, after 2LK, we actually try to cancel into SA1. And because Crouching Light Kick or 2LK in this game is not special cancelable for most characters actually, pretty much for all characters, um, we can actually, that would mean if I go into SA1, then I can actually, I get, get a 5LK. As you can see, there we go. And you can see that in my inputs, I'm actually doing SA1. So you can actually, if you practice this and practice on your hit confirms, you can actually see that. You can actually just keep doing the string, go for another 5LK and go for like a DP or something like that or whatever you want to do. Something like that. That's what that's something you could do. Just make sure that you input SA1 after you do the 2LK. And you can see that SA1's not coming out and we can do a combo. However. Let's put Terry on drive reverse. So we're gonna do the exact same sequence. We're gonna do that into DP. And then we're gonna just repeat that process when he's going for drive reversal so you can see the exact difference between the two situations. There we 
There we go. So, as you can see here, when the 2LK whiffs or doesn't connect, we do get SA1. You can see that here as well when it just whiffs when you do it off screen or full screen. You can see that I'm getting SA1 straight away after the 2LK. But if it connects with people, then you can see that a regular 5LK just comes out. And this is how an option selects works. So if it does hit with your opponent, is it just does connect, then we can actually just utilize it like this. And if it doesn't, then we punish drive reversal. So this option select actually covers two options at once without us having to think about it. And yeah, that's the beauty of it. So the example that Broski was showing was used by Nephew and Jury. So I just wanted to showcase you guys um, how you can utilize this with Jamie. But I can show you actually one more option select uh, just for the fun of it, you know, uh, something different. Um, and it starts the same way. So it's actually 2LK, but this time into 2LP and into target combo. So the reason this is really good is because this is something we can use, right? And it gives us more options. We can go into Bakai, because obviously the, the first option select like, only gives us the SA1 punish, which is, uh, you know, it, it just limits our options afterwards. Um, so what you also can do is, after your 2LP, add parry. So you can see that I'm doing parry, but I'm actually getting 2LP. But what happens, if the 2LK doesn't connect, then we get parry. There you go. Mm -hmm. There we go. You can see that every time you go for this option, and you can see that in the, my input that I'm actually using parry. But when he goes for drive reversal, we get the perfect parry. So yeah, just a fun little option select you can do as well. You can see I'm still learning this because it's hard to do. But, well, it's not hard, but there we go. So if I do the motion correctly, then he... Um, so if he doesn't do Psycho Uppercut or ODDP, whatever you want to call it, if he doesn't do that, then I am not getting an SA1. I can just do a simple string. If that's the case... Then I do that string. 2LK, 5LK, 5LK. You can still see in the inputs that I'm doing SA1. And you can see that in Ed's case, that his crouching medium punch is also whiffing after these three strings. Uh, meaning we can actually whiff punish that, if that's the case, with OD Palm. We can just buffer OD Palm behind it as well. And we're practically kind of safe from this range. I also tried to do 4 HP in this situation, but it wouldn't hit. It would only hit if he would challenge immediately with 2 MP. Which is not great because we want to feel, we want to be safe after this 2 MP, right? If he does, if he decides to do nothing, then we're still kind of safe. Bro, that's super strong. This shit is fucking insane! I love this shit! Anyways, that was it. Hope you guys learned something. If you do have any questions that I didn't cover about option selects, please let me know. And at the same time, I hope for some of you this opens doors to a, a lot more possibilities with option selects. So if you do find an option select with Jimmy, we have a fantastic Discord over at... Um, it's in the description of my videos. There is like a ton of Jamie players over there that describe tech, share tech and you know lab everything as much as I do. So yeah, if you do have some suggestions or situations that you think is helpful, join over to the Discord and let us know because I would love to see them and utilize them for myself as well. Anyways, thanks a ton for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget as usual to stay cautious and I will see you all in the next one.